It's time to stop. It's time to stop, okay? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export a video with a transparent background in Adobe Premiere Pro. This is useful when creating titles, graphics, animations, or keyed video assets that you tend to use over and over in your videos. By exporting with a transparent background, you can now just import those files like any others and easily place them over your footage. All right, so to show you how to do that, I'm just gonna use this animated graphic that I have of a YouTube subscribe button. And when I click on it and go over to effect controls, you can see that if I click away here, that it used to have a green background and I've already used ultra key to key out the background to make it transparent. But if you have an asset and you're not sure if the background is actually black or if it's transparent, you just go down here to this wrench, click on it and click on transparency grid and you'll get these checkerboard things that come up. If you see this in the background, that means it's transparent. If you don't, then it's obviously not. So to export a title or a graphic or a keyed video or something that you wanna use as an asset with a transparent background, it's really very simple. All you have to do is go up to File, down to Export and across to Media or Control M like you normally would, which brings up your Export Settings window. Then under Format, we just have to make sure that we select QuickTime. And for our preset, we're just gonna select this down here, GoPro, Cineform, RGB, 12-bit with Alpha and the alpha means the transparent part of the export. And then just go to output name, click on the blue and name it. I'm gonna keep it as transparent and I'm just gonna put it in my, where is it, my exports folder right here and click save. Then under video down here, just scroll down and under quality, you can bump it up to five if you want. The kind of the preset is at four. Just know that these files tend to be pretty big. Mine's a 1080 file and this is just a simple graphic so it's not gonna be huge. But sometimes if you've done something a little more complicated and if you're working in 4K, if you bump this up as well, your file size is gonna be fairly large and it could take a while to export just so you know in advance. So I'm gonna leave it, at, actually I'll bump it up to five and I'm gonna scroll down here. I'm gonna click on render at maximum depth. And the real important thing is just make sure this is selected right here. So RGBA12-BPC plus alpha. We need the alpha part for, again, the transparency of the background. And then nothing else in here. Just click use maximum render quality and click export. But you can also use other presets up here as well. Like if you like ProRes better, you can pick Apple ProRes 4444444 with alpha right here. And then just under video, just scroll down here, click render at maximum depth, and then change the depth to 16 bit if you want higher quality or keep it at eight, it's up to you. And then click use maximum render quality and hit export. Now, if I go into my files and try to play either of them, they won't play on my computer because I'm missing the codec. This item was encoded with a format that's not supported by my players on my computer which is not a big deal because actually when we import it to Premiere, so if I go up here, go file, import, and find the same clip, so in exports and go down to transparent, when it comes into Premiere and we double click to try and play it, it plays just fine. Now, in this preview over here, it has the black background, but if I click now, actually I'll get rid of this one and I'll bring in just a random clip here so we can have something to see behind it. So now when I click and drag this over that footage, you'll see that it shows up with a transparent background as just the graphic and you can play it just fine from there. And when you click on it, you can even go to effect controls and resize it, move it, you know, place it wherever you want. And it obviously has the transparent background. And that's pretty much it. So if you got something out of this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you next time.